Okay, that didn't take that long. Here we go. Here we go. Select a character. We're going to create our champion. We can select some... Uh... These are beautiful, by the way. These are stunning. Look at those paintings. Look at the detail. He looks cool. She looks real cool. <clears throat> she looks all right. What a chad. Pretty basic. All right, okay. Create a character. And we begin. Oh man, I'm struggling where to put my camera, chat. I'm struggling where to put my camera. Maybe top right is the best place? We'll see. All right. Oh, we get to choose our portrait. Okay, okay, okay. She looks nice. Well, we're gonna be a male. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me turn my light on, man. My face is like really white. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, that that's a female, I think. Wait, they're all female. Where are the males? Where are my dudes at? Okay, what a beast. He looks cool. I'm liking... I'm liking it quite a bit. It's a really, really good game. It's a really, really good game. If you're new, please hit that follow button. We are one follower away from 390 followers. Going to be playing Pathfinder all month. Damn! I didn't know Ninja was in this game. I mean, he's got a man bun. He, I repeat, he's got a man bun. This is not a drill. He has a man bun and a good one at that. Do I, do I become an orc just because this guy has a man bun? <laughs> you all know that is something I would do. It's a good one. Not as good as mine, but it's a good one. Wait, 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 we've got to check her out. Man, this is sexist, man. There's so much better female ones. Or is it just me? He, to be honest, I do want to be a wizard, and he does look really cool. Have we found our have we found our character? Really you're worth no oh. Really? That's unfortunate man. This was the one right here. That was the one right there. Gandalf? That was the one. You know what? I kind of... I might... I might... I might... Make an orc. You know, I don't think I've ever been an orc in a game. But... Here's the thing. Their race might not be good like mages. I could just go this guy, but he looks so basic. We'll see. You know what? We'll see. We'll see. For now, bang. Okay. Damn. Okay. What the hell does square do? Wow. Okay. Half orc. Plus two to one ability score. Uh, at creation, the character gets a plus two bonus to an ability of their choice. Okay. So unfortunately, it looks like orcs have to choose have to use a weapon and i don't think i want to be a weapon guy what is that weapon is that a halberd half orcs 
get the worst of both worlds. Still, while not exactly accepted in civilized societies, tend to be valued for their martial prowess. They are usually forced to grow up hard and fast, constantly fighting for protection or to make names for themselves. Feared, distrusted, and spat upon. Oh, bless them. Half-orcs still consistently manage to surprise their detractors with great deeds and unexpected wisdom, though sometimes it's easier just to crack a few skulls. Yeah. Both genders of half-orcs stand between six and seven feet tall. Wait, am I a half-orc? I'm six foot four. With powerful bills and greenish or greyish skin, their canines often grow long enough to protrude from their mouths, and these tusks, combined with heavy brows, and slightly pointed ears. Maybe I am a half orc. Give them their notoriously beast of appearance. While half orcs may be impressive, few ever describe them as beautiful. Oh, oh, we're gonna make a beautiful half orc. Don't you worry about that. Do we go half orc? Half orcs gain an additional skill rank. Half orcs receive a, receive a plus two racial bonus on persuasion checks when used to intimidate due to their fearsome nature. Now, I wonder if intimidate goes with strength therefore we may not actually want that half orcs are proficient with great axes and falchions okay when a half orc is brought below zero hit points but not killed he can fight on for one more round at the end of his next turn unless brought to above zero hit points that's really cool that is really cool that is really really cool Dwarfs, elves, gnomes, half elves, half orcs, and halflings receive a plus two racial bonus on perception checks. I do love perception checks. I do love me some perception. That's the female? She looks cool. You know what? Let's go for all of them. Alright, we've got human. Uh, gets a plus two bonus to an ability of their choice. Okay. That's it. We've got to go elf, don't we? If we want to be a maid, we've got to go elf, right? That's just how it works. Look at that elven magic. What does that mean? Elf, elves receive a plus two racial bonus on caster level. There you go. Made to overcome spell. Re In addition, to elves receive a plus two racial bonus on knowledge arcana, skill checks. Made. I mean, you just have to, right? Really? Not elves? Elves are immune to magic sleep effects. And gain plus two racial saving throw bonus against enhanced. I don't know, man. Ah. Hopefully, we can do something about them ears, because damn, they're big. If we were to use a. Okay, elves seem cool. I don't want to be a dwarf. I'm not going to be a dwarf. I don't want to be a gnome either. And I don't want to be a halfling. Jeez, how many little lads are there? Ooh, a half elf. Interesting. Elves are long drawn to covetous gazes of other races. Their generous life spins magic affinity and inherent grace. Each contribute to the admiration or bitter envy of their neighbors. Of all their traits, however, none so entrance their human associates as their beauty. Since the two races first came into contact with each other, the humans have held up elves as models of physical perfection. Seeing in their fair folk idealized versions of themselves, for their part, many elves find humans attractive, despite their comparatively barbaric ways. Drawn to the passion and impetuosity with which members of the younger race play out their brief lives, sometimes this mutual infatuation leads to romantic relationships. They're usually short-lived, even by human standards. Lead to the birth of half-elves, a race of descendant of two cultures, yet inheritor of neither. Half-elves can breed with one another, but even these pure-blood half-elves tend to be viewed as bastards by human and elves alike. Oh my god, what? So if you're a half-elf or a half-orc, you're just hated by either side. Savage. Half-elves stand taller than humans, but shorter than elves. They inherit the lean build and commonly features of their elven lineage. But their skin colour is dictated by their human side. While half elves retain the pointed ears of elves, theirs are more rounded and less pronounced. True. A 
half elf human like eyes tend to range a spectrum of exotic colours. Okay, so we get the perception check, we get the magic sleep effect, and we get half elves to receive skill focus as a bonus feat at first level. Asimov. Asimov's are humans. Look at this, Chad. With a significant amount of celestial or other good outside of blood in their ancestry. Um, Asimars are more inclined towards acts of kindness rather than evil. Their heritage can lie dormant for generations, only to appear suddenly in the child of two apparently human parents. Most societies interpret Asimar births as good omens, but it must be acknowledged that some Asimars take advantage of the reputation of their kind brutally subverting the expectations of others with acts of terrifying cruelty or abject venality. Hey Dorch, how you doing my brother? Asimis look mostly human except for some minor physical trait that reveals their unusual heritage. Typical Asimar features are hair that shines like metal, unusual eye or skin colour or others. The reason I'm reading this chat is because I am very new to this these types of characters in certain games. So it's really, really cool. Uh, most Asimars don't know exactly where their celestial powers come from. And the similar qualities of many such celestial touched beings hint at a random... Uh, oh wait, that's nothing to do... Oh, that is something to do with my thingy. Uh, relative distant or all-compassing, heavenly force in their lineage. Some, however, possess more unique traits and abilities inherited from their supernal forebears. Attributes that hint at a precise... What? What? They possess the ability to manifest halos that can create a light centered on their head at will. While using a halo, I can see a halo, they gain a plus two circumstance bonus on saving throws. Asimars have acid resistance, cold res... So you know who these remind me of? The guys in Skyrim who have magic resistance, high magic resistance. What are they called again? Blood bars or something, I forgot what their name is. And tiefling. Damn! Look at this. Look at this lad. Are these just evil people? Breton. Yeah, Breton. Yeah. Breton was always my go-to build in Skyrim. Simultaneously, more and less than mortal tieflings are the offspring of humans and fiends. Um, tieflings are often shunned and despised. I mean, yeah. Most tieflings never know that their fiendish sires, the coupling that produced their curse, occurred generations earlier. Taint is long lasting and persistent, often manifesting at birth. Despite their fiendish appearance and Neverworld origins, tieflings have a human's capacity of choosing their fate. And while many embrace their dark heritage and side with fiendish powers, others reject. Though the power of their blood calls nearly every tiefling to fury, destruction, and wrath, even the spawn of a succubus can become a saint, and the grandchild of a pit fiend an unsuspecting hero. That's cool. That's cool. Tieflings, they've got magic resistance. I don't know what this heritage thing is. What do we think, chat? Who do we go? Who do we choose? I think... Humans are just boring, let's be honest. Humans the easy way out, right? I would say Ifrit... What the hell? I'm thinking Half-Elf. I want to be a mage. And I don't want to be a mage. I want to be THE mage. I want to dominate. I don't know if we're going to be evil or good yet. But we're going to take over the world, which probably means I'm going to be evil. Who knows? I want to be a mage, but I also don't want to be an elf. Because it's just... I don't know what it is about elves, man. Any, I, I'm, I'm assuming most mages are elves. So I want to be a bit different and I want to be a half-elf. Me man's an elf. Me dad's a human. You know what I mean? It's the, me man's a witch, me dad's a muggle, you know? 
Do we go half elf? Is that a good shout? Is that a good shout? What did your worth say earlier regarding mages? Human or Asimar are best for mages. <sighs> an Asimar, you know. Do I want to be an Asimar? I mean, I just thought about it, and it has got three letters of my name in it. Omar. Asimar. Uh, uh, Asimario. You know what I mean? But... <sighs> Do I want a halo? I mean, she kind of looks like Yennefer, so... No, I'm going half-elf. We're going half-elf. Screw it. We're going half-elf. You can check some random looks. Wait, how? Thought, have you played this game? We're going half-elf. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Just because of the... Uh... I, I really like this portrait though. I really like this portrait. That is so good. There isn't even a male elf, is there? They, ha they haven't even put in a male Oh, here we go. Is that a male? Is that male or female? I can't, I can't, I genuinely can't tell. What do we think? You can check some random looks. I'll probably do that. I guess this is a male elf? No, no. That's the male elf. No. A melf. Ah, is this the male? There he is. There he is. Elflon Musk. Actually, you know what? That is a cool portrait. I ain't gonna lie, though. That guy do be looking evil. That guy do be looking evil. Let's do it. That's the one. Now, can I, like, zoom in on the portrait? Okay, so we're going half-elf. I, I hope this is a good build. I'm not sure what a skill focus is. Half-elf re receives skill focus as a bonus feat. Hey guy, how you doing, brother? Here's the all right, and here's the class. Um, jeez. So there's a class, and then each class has four archetypes of a class. So there is so many choices here. There are so many choices. Okay. Alchemist's reputation is not softened by his exuberance. Some would say dangerous recklessness. I like it. I already need a bloody cup of some water, chat. Um, in perfecting his magical extracts and potion-like creations, infusing these substances with magic, siphoned from his aura and using his own body as an experimental stock. Nor is it modified by the alchemist's almost gleeful passion for build... Oh, okay, so it's a... He's a grenade... Potion, poison type. Cool build. Not really interested. Barbarian. I'm good. Don't want to be a bard. Clerics are healers, right? Oh, each one's different. Oh, so there could be a spell casting alchemist. Oh, no, no. Okay. Armored Hulk. What the hell's an armored Hulk? I mean, it's an armored Hulk. Um, 
Bard Archaeologist Thundercaller Flame Dancer. Bard could be cool. We say this served the militant arm of a church, ready to stand guard over the region's holy places and to be its swift. Uh, okay. Herald Caller. Unlike Crusaders or Paladins who charge headlong into battle in the name of their Herald Callers are adept at calling powerful outsiders to it, so a summoner. Physical arm for protection. Don't know what that is. Okay, a druid. Yo. Well, some druids. While some druids might keep the fringe of battle allowing companions and summoned creatures to fight while they confound foes with the power of nature, others transform into deadly beasts and savagely wade into combat. Druids worship personifications of elemental forces, natural powers, or nature itself. Typically, this means devotion to a nature deity, though druids are just as likely to revere vague spirits, animalistic demigods, or even specific awe-inspiring natural wonders. Okay, I don't know what fortitude... I don't know what that all is. Nature sense. Is there any way I can go over to that? Can I go over to that and read what it does? Oh, hello. Here we go. Uh, this is Druid Proficiency. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I can have an animal companion. A druid who changes to a prohibited alignment loses all spells. Okay. A druid can channel stored spell energy into summoning spells that she hasn't prepared ahead of time. She can lose a prepared spell in order to cast any summon natures. Okay. Animal domain is OP. Okay. I don't even know where that is. I can have a wolf. I can... Oh my god, I can have a bear? Yo, this is sick. Alright, okay. Blight druid. This is probably a baddie. Defender of true or some druids specialize in tracking down. Okay. And a phase speaker. I think a druid is going to be a difficult uh, build. Probably a advanced type sort of build. These are fighters if you ever want to be a fighter. Inquisitor. Inquisitors tend to move from place to place, chasing down enemies and researching threats. As a result, they often travel with others. If for no other reason than to mask their presence, Inquisitors work with members of their faith whenever possible. But even such allies are not above suspicion. Interesting, okay. Um, so Inquisitors... How do I do that thing that I went to earlier? Here we go. Because this is proficient with all simple weapons, plus the longbow. Okay. Hit that follow button if you're new. We are one follower away from 390. Would really appreciate it. Thank you everyone who's watching. Uh, a deity. Okay, so I choose a deity. Because this can cast a number of horizons. So there are levels to spells. Zero level being the weakest, I'm assuming. A divine... Okay, domain selection... Detecting magical auras or active spells. Can I identify... Okay, that sounds pretty, pretty useful. Okay, so he's a persuasive person. Because he can put out judgment upon her foes. At first level, the quizzer can use this ability once per day. Uh huh? Alright. This, another one that seems very uh, complex. Monster Tactician. It's a summoner. That's cool. Summon monster. That's cool. Tactical leader. And a sacred huntsman. 
This one has an animal companion. Kineticus, our living channels for elemental matter and energy. Okay. Where's my wizard? Look how many classes there are, man. That's insane. You're a wizard, laddie. All right, okay. We're, we're, one sec, one sec, one sec. Let me slow down. There is no rush. We've got all day. All right, where were we at? We were at Kineticus. Um, they seem to be magi as well. Dark Psycho and a knight. Is that like a battle mage? Oh my god, it's Professor X, whatever his name is. And this is power when he experiences an outburst of strong emotion, potentially making it... Oh, okay. Jeez, don't do what Siri did. Okay. This actually seems really cool. Um, how do I see what I did earlier again? This seems really cool. A first level connect is gains a kinetic blast. The kinetic blast must be simple blast that matches her element. Burn, connect blast, elemental focus, infusion, emotional intensity, mind burn. Damn. Yo. Okay. Mages. Magi spend most of their time traveling the world. Is this a mage? Oh no, learning a new sword fighting style. While simultaneously moonlighting in the local home. This is a battle mage. Right? Oh no, there's an archer as well. Sword mage. That could be interesting, you know. Is it the mages that make their own sword? Is it like that type? Um. No one. Oh well, there we go. Let's ban that. Let's get out of here, yeah. You dumb thing. Okay. Uh, they don't study tombs of magic or spend time learning. Rather, Eldritch Science find that their spells and abilities come to them instinctively. Your worth. Thank you so much for that follow, man. God bless you, brother. Welcome to the castle, my friend. Okay. Perfection of the use of a single weapon. That's cool, man. Look how many, look how much stuff this guy starts with as well. And then you can be like a, a magical, it's like an archer that rains magical attacks. Yo, that is sick. A monk. We all know what a monk is. I'm assuming it's uh, unarmed, yeah. Scaled fist. Okay. Sensei. Maybe it's a monk with a bit of magic. Or maybe a buffer. Okay, monk sounds pretty cool. Ali, how you doing, my friend? How are you? Okay. Paladin, we know. Ranger is going to be an archery. Archery lad. Rogue. I haven't thought about being a rogue, you know. I haven't thought about being a rogue. Why didn't I think about being a rogue? Um, no, never mind, never mind. A slayer? Don't know what that is. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ali. I'm glad you're getting better, my friend. I'm glad you're getting better. How are you? What have you been up to? How's Maya? Maya. Okay, now here's the choice. Sorcerer or a wizard, laddie. Um, 
Sorcerers excel at casting a selection of favoured spells frequently, making them powerful battle mages. Like the sound of that. As they become familiar with a specific and ever-widening set of spells, sorcerers often discover new and versatile ways of making use of magics. Other spellcasters might overlook. <clears throat> Their bloodlines also grant them additional abilities, assuring that no two sorcerers are ever quite alike. Yo, that is cool. That is cool. Now, what's easier, chat? Who's easier to use, a sorcerer or a wizard? And what's the main difference? Your heavenly power derives from insight rather than force of personality. I like the sound of that. Okay. Your ties to nature have more to do with creatures than with capriciousness. Nice word. Oh, we get an animal companion if we're a sorcerer. Your magic comes from the knowledge and traditions that your bloodline accumulated. Not just from force of personality. You use your intelligence rather than your charisma to determine all class features and effects related to your sorcerer class, such as bonus spells per day, the maximum spell level you can cast, the save DCs of your spell. Okay. So if I was to choose one of these, I would probably go Sylvan Sorcerer, because I get a pet. I'm a simple man, who likes simple things. <laughs> I like pet, I like animal, I choose this one. You're just gonna kill it? Ali, no. I'm a new man. I am reformed. And uh, to prove you wrong, I will name the pet Maya. <laughs> no, no, I won't. Chat's getting their own cat. Also, man bun check. How are we, how are we looking? <laughs> Alright, so sorcerer could be really cool. If I was going to do a sorcerer, it would be this one. Let's have a little look. Wait, that looks really empty. I don't get what any of this means. Proficient with all weapons. Now, is there a weapon like, you know, in this game, do mages use their hands like fireball? Do you know what I mean? Or... Do they use, like, you know, Gandalf, like, a stick or whatever? A stick. You know what I mean? Like, a staff or a... Or do we just use our hand? Do, do you just use your hands in this game? They're not proficient with any type of armor or shield. Armor interferes with a sorcerer's jesters, which can cause her spells. Okay. Sorcerer can cast a number of cantrips or zero-level spells. These spells are cast for any other spell, but they are not expended when cast and may be used again. Okay. Detect magical auras. That could be really useful. Used in dialogues. So I'm assuming if I'm talking to another wizard, certain stuff will come up for me. Your ties to nature have more to do with creatures than with capriciousness. Put spells on auto cast so you don't use a melee weapon. Here's the, here's the thing you're worth. I'm going to be playing the game in turn-based. I've fought long and hard about it. <laughs> we'll see. I, I I may not. We'll see. We'll see. Turn based is great. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. Um, at first level, a sorcerer gains a bonus. Now, what are feats? Each portion can choose a meta magic feat. Spell focuses feet or any other spell card. Oh, I'm assuming those are my skills. Like those are my my moves. Okay. Unlike normal animals of its kind, an animal companion's hit dice, ability skills, and feats advance as the druid advance, as the druid advances in level. If a character receives an animal companion from more than one source, her effective druid levels stack. Eh? Most animal companions increase in size when their druid reaches 4th or 7th level, depending on the companion. 
<laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of that. Really your worth. So is there no point of being anything except the human? Is, is a half elf a bad choice? Math whiz! Thank you so, so much, my brother, for tipping $20. We're so close to like halfway there, man. Thank you so much, Mathwiz, my brother. Can we get some love in the chat for Mathwiz? You absolute legend. Ah, oh, can we get some hearts in the chat, please? Thank you so, so much, man. Really, really, really appreciate that, Mathwiz. Just silently tipping. Thank you so, so much, man. God bless you, brother. It's an honor having you in my chat. It really is. Um, I'm sorry about the slow start, guys. I'm just learning the game. Thank you so much, Mathwiz. Thank you. Oh, I really, really appreciate that. Also, have you done something with your name, Mathwiz? It's dark blue. It looks really cool. Human or ass, if you're interested in... <laughs> your worth. You got me there, mate. Asimir, by the way, guys. There's, there's... <sighs> do I go Asimir, guys? Ali, what do you think? What do you think, Ali? TOS. <laughs> let me show. Let me show her what an Asimir looks like. I mean, he is a Chad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I have no idea either, Ali. We're learning together. He is a Chad. Look how cool he looks. I wanted to try this game for a while now. Miss... Miss Ali, I've wanted to do this for since it came out on PC. I am so excited. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna love this game. Um, I hope on PS4 it isn't buggy. I cannot wait to play this. Um, and it's on, it's on, oh, it, I don't know if you're on PS4, but it just got off sale, I believe. It was on sale to the 30, if I think. But how are you, by the way? How's your day going? You have no idea, Ali? Me neither, Ali, but who do you think's the coolest? I, 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 I respect your opinion. Don't, don't choose the little guys. Don't choose the little guys. I'm not being a little guy. Mathwiz, God bless you, brother. Have a great lunch. Thank you so, so much for the $20, man. Really, really appreciate you. Absolute legend. I love Kennedy's Lurk emote as well. I'm not going human, guys. It's just boring. It's just boring. I'm already human. We're all already human. Right? Any aliens in the chat? Um. What's so good about Arsimir? <laughs> there is no good way of saying that. I, I think I'm gonna stick with Half Elf, man. You know what I like about Half Elf? The immunities. Plus two to charisma. Oh. Okay, okay, we need to decide though if I'm actually going to be a sorcerer. So if I was going to be a sorcerer, I would go I would go the animal companion one. I would go animal companion. Um and why would a why would a sorcerer why would I go intelligent what can sorcerers learn different spells from like what's the difference between a sorcerer and a wizard spell casting wise okay while universal wizards might study to prepare themselves for any manner of danger specialist wizards research schools of magic that make them exceptionally skilled within a specific focus Yet no matter their specialty, all wizards are masters of the impossible and can aid their allies in overcoming any danger. Wizards cast spells they've planned and can learn all spells. Now I don't know what you mean by planning spells, but that sounds really, really cool. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. Your worth, I really, really appreciate all the help, by the way.
but can cast any time. Are you saying... Okay, okay. Arcane Bomber. Damn, that sounds cool. To many wizards, the experimentation of the alchemist seems quaint, if not dangerous or frightening. A few wizards take up the secrets of the bomb. However, fusing alchemy with their already... No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, a Thessalonian fa 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 specialist. While the concept of wizard specializations along the classically recognized schools of magic certainly dates back to the time of Aslan and perhaps beyond into the dim recess of time. We need another water break. <laughs> It was the Rune Lords of Fasilun who explored school specializations to its full extreme, focusing their research on the discovery that each school of magic was opposed by. Two specific... The Rune Lords developed methods of further enhancing their mastery over their chosen... Essentially, they defined these seven schools as much by what they couldn't do by what they could. By exciting impure... all, oh. They traded arcane versatility for greater strength in their chosen field. These sound like bad guys. These sound like bad guys. And last but not least, some wizards consider scrolls a natural extension of their magical abilities. If I was going to go wizard, Which is the best one? I'm thinking literally just wizard. Wizards form a powerful bond with an object or a creature. <sighs> this bond can take one or two forms, a familiar or a bonded object. The familiar is a magical pet that enhances the wizard's skills and senses, while a bonded object is an item a wizard can use to cast additional spells. What would I do there, though? Would I do the pet, or would I do the bonded item? Man, this game is so cool. So you can choose to specialise in one... Wait! Oh no, wait, I can only have one school of magic, so I can't be like thunder, fire, ice, I can't be like all of them? Or does it mean specialised means that's my like, I'm best at that, but I can still be good at the others. I'm really good at that, but I can still be okay, okay. I was worried there man, I was worried. I was like, yo, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Alright, this choice must be made at first level and once made it cannot be changed. A wizard that does not select the school receives a universalist school instead. What's a universalist school? Each arcane school gives the wizard a number of school powers. An additional specialist wizards receive an additional spell slot of each spell level he can cast from first on up. Each day, a wizard can prepare a spell from his speciality school in that slot. This spell must be in the wizard's spell book. A wizard can select the spell modified by a metamagic feat to prepare in his school slot, but he uses up a higher level spell slot. So there are slots and levels to spells. Wizards with the universalist school do not receive a school slot. Should I not go universalist? I probably shouldn't. These are the zero, these are the spells I think we've always got. Maybe use again. Okay, I think we always have these spells. Wizards are proficient with the club, dagger, heavy crossbow, light crossbow, and quarter staff. But we don't use armor or shield. Armor interviews interferes with movement, which can cause his spell. Okay. Detects magical auras of active spells or artifacts. Or of those that were active recently. Chat. Do we go wizard or sorcerer? What do we think? Do we go wizard or sorcerer? Oh, 
They're both really good choices. Sorcerers are proficient with all simple weapons. Same as wizards, okay. Same as wizards. Same as wizards. They just get an animal companion. And they use charisma instead of... At first level, sorcerer gains a bonus feat. To be, but honestly, Ali, either I have a magical pet or a normal pet. I mean, a magical pet, do you know what I mean? I am confused as well, Ali. I am confused as well. Have you ever looked into D&D? Animal companion is like another character. So what's the pet like? What's the difference? The magical one isn't physical. So what does it mean? It can't attack things? I need alcohol, even though it's not alcoholic. Me neither, Ali. Me neither. But one day I want to, and this is like a full-on D&D game. Uh, well, now that makes me want to go... Now that makes me want to go... Uh, Sorcerer. So, your worth. Are they exactly the same? But one uses charisma and one uses intelligence. Are they very, very similar? But you know what? Here's, here's my question. Here's my question. As someone who's new to D&D... And, and, which one's better for beginners? Wizard or the, the sorcerer? That's, that's the question, that's the question that will, you think the Sylvan's better for beginners? You re, are you re, do you really, really mean that? Or do you just want me to be a sorcerer? Can I, may I ask why? May I ask why so, it, the pet will help out a lot? And charisma helps with dialogue. And I am a Twitch streamer, which means I'm very charismatic and unintelligent. So it, it, it would be immersive. It would be immersive. Um, do I have a man bun? Yes. No. Yes. No. Sorry, got, got a bit distracted. Um, okay. Let's do it! Alright! Ali! You chose the pet! Pet it is! Can I call it Maya? Can I call it Maya Jr? How about MJ? Right, can we name the pet? Can we name the pet? I haven't even asked the most important question. Do we get to name the pet? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Why, developers? Why? There's no pet? We've got to go pet. It doesn't matter. We can just we can, we can name him ourselves. We can name him ourselves. Um, it may be a her. We'll have to see what pet it is. As for now, I say we are a sorcerer. Let's do it. A half-elf sorcerer. I ain't gonna lie, I look sexy. I'm just gonna put it out there. Just have it be known to us. Dorchit gets it. Dorchit gets it. I already have an idea of what it may be named. But you know what? We need to see it first. And don't forget, chat, to everyone who's just showed up, later on we're gonna make another character. We're gonna make another character. And you guys are going to decide his class what he does and his name's going to be twitch chat or tris chat instead of twitch chat i i kind of prefer tris chat i'm not gonna lie um and you guys are going to decide if he's evil good what he does what he doesn't do what she does what she doesn't do so yeah don't forget about that all right sylvan sorcerer there we go hey 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 Ha <laughs> ha 
I'll be polling. I'll be polling a lot. I'll be polling a lot. It's a good idea, though, right? Um, I'm pretty skinny. I'm not gonna lie. Well, actually, no, nah, not after, not in quarantine. All right. Damn, bro, you thick. Damn, look at the junk in the trunk. Respect it. All right. I'm left-handed. Anyone here is left? Right, le I'm right-handed. Anyone here left-handed? Mate, Ali, I've put on, f I put on four jean sizes, and I realised it about a week ago. So I'm kind of in a midlife crisis. Four jean sizes up, and I never, I never used to be able to put on weight. Like I'm not fat. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm pretty normal. But like, yeah. That's good. That's good, Ali. Because you were, you, you were, you had the same problem as me, right? We were, we were both quite. Quite skinny, right? I think I think I remember you talking about it. It's good if you then turn it into, you know, muscle or, you know, become better at cardio. I'm not saying, you know, it's good to get... You know, it, it, it is good to put on weight for some people. For me, I believe it was a good thing. Um, I struggled putting on weight for years. I've just been snacking. All right, face. Doesn't really matter, but... I mean, that kind of looks like me, let's be honest. <laughs> hey! Well, he's happy. Uh, I'm gonna go angry, lad. All right. I'm exactly... I was... I was very skinny and couldn't get away, but that was my, when my IBS ruined my stomach. There you go. Is it is it getting a lot better now? If there isn't a man bun, we're, we're moving to Borderlands. Yes. It's not just a man bun, it's the best kind of man bun. It's the Geralt bun. It's the Geralt bun. We should I should have been a witcher. That's kind of like my hair when it's down. <laughs> um, I actually might do this. It doesn't matter because, you know. Let's go! Get yourself a garlic bread with cheese. Mm. I'm, I'm so happy for you. I really am. It may seem like a small victory to some people, but to you I know that's a massive one. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ali. <laughs> oh. Do I do I do this? Do I? <laughs> do I do this? Yo, I'm a wizard. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm a wizard, mate. No, wait, wait, I'm not a wizard. What am I? <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> there we go. Talk, look, look at that immersion right there. That's immersion right there. One sec, will it stay? I look ridiculous. Okay. I got brown hair. There he is! Ooh! Okay, I'm not doing this no more. It, it, this is not comfortable. Okay. Well, we're going blue, baby. How can you have 35 different colours, but you've only got two beard types? Sky blue. Yes. Yes. Sky blue and dark blue. <laughs> Hell yeah, Dort. Hell yeah, brother. Sky blue and dark blue, baby. That channel colours right there. Looking good, brother. Looking good. Let me go through all of them, just to be sure. What's this colour? 
It's like whitey grey. Maybe I go dark blue and then sky blue. No, because it, it doesn't look as... Uh... No, I like the sky up top. And then dark blue here. Yeah, that looks really good. I actually really like that. Okay, sweet. Mate, this game's insane. Choose animal companion. Sorry, got a bit carried away. Um, okay. The... Who knows my favorite animal? Who here knows what my favorite animal is? Let's see if my chat knows me. Seven vid, how you doing, brother? Visiting from the Borderlands, been watching your vid of Borderlands 2 games, they're really enjoying it. Oh, God bless you, man. I, I am so, seven vid, and just so everyone knows in chat, I'm not done with Borderlands 2. Me and Borderlands 2 will probably be beat dab. Probably be back. after tomorrow um, I'm gonna play this today and tomorrow full and then I'm gonna be double streaming this and Borderlands 2 for the rest of the month and then we're gonna be squeezing in some Genshin impact as well but yeah I really appreciate the kind words and yes it is a new RPG it's a D&D isometric RPG um, have you ever played any D&D it's no, Ali. No, that's my favorite type of cat. So she's sort of right. But my favorite animal, and here's the clue it can stand on two feet, it stands on four feet, it can swim, and it can climb trees. Wait, can it climb trees? Some can climb trees. Wait, can they climb trees? I can't remember actually. A monkey. <laughs> Guys, come on, man. What do I always ask? What can beat a gorilla in a fight? A hippogriff? Sort of close. <laughs> what can beat a gorilla in a fight? <laughs> a horse? Horse is my second favourite. <laughs> I'm not angry, Ali. I'm just disappointed. I thought you knew me better than that. I thought you knew me better than that. I'm an ugly crier. A wasp. A honey badger. A really angry chihuahua. Guys, it's a bear. Come on, man. I thought my chat knew me. Am I just... Am I just eye candy to you? <laughs> no, it's definitely not that. Um... Cheeseburger! Come on, Ali! You remember Far Cry? Cheeseburger! Okay, um, but we'll go for all of them. We'll go for all of them. So, can bears climb trees? I'm pretty sure they can. And yes, a bear can beat a gorilla in a fight. If you if you disagree, you're just wrong. What is mine? Uh, uh, I've got some other place to be. Um... What is mine? Yours is a cat. Right? Oh, it's a giraffe. I think you I think yours is a giraffe. No, 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 but I don't agree. <laughs> a fox. A walrus. I just like the word walrus. A, uh... Oh my god, it's gonna be a fake animal or something out of Twilight Alley. Uh... Edwards. <laughs> a vampire. <laughs> Chat, what's your... All, all of your favourite animal? You can only choose one. Alright, so the bear. What is it, Ali? What is it? Oh, it was Edward. Okay, I got it. Size me an elephant. Oh. Of course, it's an elephant. 
Of course it's an elephant. I should have known that. I should have known that. But when you said you'd never get it, that threw me off. I, I was close with Walrus. You're right, I was close with Walrus. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got a bear AC, I don't know what that is Attack Concern Nailed it. So here's where D&D &D gets me This 1d6 stuff And 1d4 I have no idea what that means I have no idea what that means Please help um, Ability scores, strength Oh, a penguin's a good shout Dogs are obviously, you know, good, good, good uh, pets. How many side? How are you, Cordis, my friend? How many side does the roll die have? One dice of four sides. Uh? Okay, and on each side, there's a certain number. Okay, dice with six sides. Oh god, my head! Oh god! Dorchip, please, no! Not an X. Not, don't bring me back to algebra. Don't bring me back. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to algebra, guys. No, you can't, t you can't take me. You can't take me! Sorry, sorry. Had a flashback. Um... <laughs> don't bring me back to algebra. Don't, no. No X's and Y's. Dorch, please. Please, brother. Okay, okay, let me take this serious. So, one dice of four sides. Okay, let me get a dice. One second. Yeah, I've got a dice. No, I don't have dice. Um, so, two dice with six sides would be 2d6. And what? what's on each side, by the way? Dorch, please no! Dorch! Come on, man. Please, brother. I'm, I'm gonna make auto mod like <laughs> ban X and Y in chat. <laughs> Numbers, a number. Okay, but we don't know what num. So, so one d six is one dice with six sides. Okay, and what's the best number for it to hit, and what's the worst number? Is the best number the higher it is, and is the worst number the lower it is? The highest. Sweet. So 1d6 is a low chance of hitting. Sorry. 1d4 is a low chance of hitting. No, wait. No. 1d4 is just a straight up. 50-50, because 3 or 4 is going to be good. 2 and 1. So is it the more the more dice, the better? Or the less dice, the better? Amount of damage. If you hit your attack, you'll normally roll a d6 to work out damage. So there's two rolls every attack. One for attacking. One for seeing if you hit or miss. And one for seeing how much damage your hit will be. Depends on level. I'm learning. I'm learning. It gets complicated. Yeah. You roll a d20 for attack. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so is 1d6 and 1d4 good? Or is that... Can I... Does that question not make sense? I guess that question doesn't really make sense. It's just... It's just D&D. &D. By the way, click on the subscribe button. Make sure you find out if you've got a prime sub. If your attack is higher than opponent's armor class, you hit. Skills sometimes add plus one to the result. Nice, okay. Okay. So this guy's got hella strength. And he's got two attacks. Cool. I'm not I'm not being a bore. Dog. Um Attack bite plus he can trip. 
Interesting. Trip, I'm assuming, literally trips the, the guy down. Okay. An elk! Elk sounds pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. The boar's got plus nine armor? How's the boar got more armor than a bear? Nah, bruv. Nah, nah. Nah, man. That bacon armor. That big la layer of bacon for... Nah, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh, God. Nah, nah. We don't want a giant centipede. Leopard seems pretty cool. A leopard seems pretty cool. Trip is useful? Why Why would anyone choose the dog when there's a leopard? Oh, the dog's medium sized. Oh, sorry. And has much more AC. Okay. Okay, that's why. I can't believe the boar's got that much armor. What the hell's a mastodon? The picture looks like it's a bear. What is a mastodon, chat? What's a mastodon, my friend? Is it a bear? It has more natural armor. A woolly mammoth? Yo! That's Ali's favorite animal. Well, the ancient version. Yo. Yo, chat, how are you gonna tell me? How are you gonna tell me that a freaking pig has more natural armor than a than Manny out of Ice Age? Nah, nah, man. Uh-uh. Nah, man. I'm gonna drink this stress drink. Don't make sense. Power Rangers? All right, I, he's persuaded me. Yeah, she completely makes sense. All right. Um, monitor lizard. You got a lizard, Harry. I don't want that. Smilodon. What's a Smilodon? Hmm. Not sure, and I've got one in my game. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. And then we've got a wolf. We've got to go bear, right? You know what, chat? I think I want to go bear. And I'm going to call it hamburger. No, I'm not. Um, <sighs> we could just get a Manny. I approve, to be fair, if Ali approves. Um, the bear's strength is mad, you know. And it has two types of attacks. What does the Mastodon have? Oh. The Mastodon's got better dice rolls. Plus three natural armor. Gains trap. Oh, they gain attacks as they level up. Gains rend. Plus four natural armor. If you could change your fate, would you? What are you talking about, Torch? <laughs> uh, oh, mate. Have you been drinking? <laughs> oh, that's so random. Okay, I'm gonna go bear. Why is it... Okay, Disney bear movie, nice. We don't want strength, do we? Now, I don't want a modifier in the minus, do I? You never want that, right? Or do I just... Get rid of all of that because I don't need strength at all. This is the longest character creation in history. 
I did say two hours. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Racial bonus character? What do you mean, mate? Oh, we get a plus two half elf thing. I don't know what that means. Um, anyway. Can I give you my advice in this bit? This is the most important bit. Sorry if I'm pushing. Don't. No, no, no. You're all good, mate. I want advice on this bit. I really want to learn this game. This, these types of games. I'm probably going to need some con. Wait. Wait. How do I change my racial bonus? Ah, yeah, I don't want that on strength. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Charisma has a green thumb next to it, which means, yo, this is the one. Charisma reflects a character's personality. And it look, it says Spells Sorcerer. Plus, okay. Put Charisma all the way up. Take Strength down to eight. Why not seven? Screw it, let's do it. All right. What's this plus two next to my name for the left? So if I go left. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, eight doesn't change anything, so you're right. Okay. I'm gonna do charisma all the way up, like you said, and then wisdom and con. Maybe that? Mm. Do I need any intelligence? Dex? Why do I need Dex? Rogues? Ah, it's useful for characters who wear no armor at all. Your Dex mod applies to ranged attacks and many ranged spell attacks. Good comms. Good comms. That's why we need Dex. Could I do this? And then next time we level up. Wait, do we, do we get points? You do, but rare. Do I not need intelligence? Bang, can we do that? Let me see what int does. The number of skill points gains you. Oh, that is important, you know. And what does this do? This is perception, though. This is persuasion, perception. Hmm. Con we want for health. Cordis? Are you playing this game, Cordis? Cordis, I'm a I'm a sorcerer. I'm a sorcerer. Who who and sorcerers use charisma instead of intelligence. What do we think? All of this is on the plus, so I'm okay with that. This is on zero plus five charisma. No, that, that goes minus. 
that, that goes minus. So it seems to be when it's under two, something happens. Now, if I was to level up... It... So what's going to be my focus for when I get points in this stuff? Dex to 20? Charisma and con, you think? Charisma? Wait, you can go past 20? I thought that as well, Cordis. I thought that as well. Until this part where it said... Um, your character's dexterity modifier applies to many ranged spell attacks. And if you think about it, in a lot of games, that doesn't apply at all. Dexterity is normally nothing to do with spells. But it actually makes sense. Because if better dexterity makes you better with bows and crossbows and, you know, like it says, throwing axes and stuff, then surely you'd need it for ranged spell attacks as well. Do you know what I mean? So I thought that as well, but luckily you're worth let, let us know. Good comms. I don't think I'm going to be focusing healing, Cordis. I don't think I'm going to be... But we do have 12 con, which is good. 8 hit points. Yeah? Okay. But when, when, when we make your guy's character... We're going to do a poll for most of this type of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um... We're, I think we're done, pretty much. Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to do the things with a tick next to them. Knowledge nor persuasion we need. This skill represents a character's ability to activate magic items. Even if you're not otherwise trained in their use. Your character's used magic device skill enables you to activate wands and scrolls. That you would normally be unable to use. Equip magic items that you would normally be prohibited from equipping. And avoid the negative consequences of using dangerous magic. That is good. That is good. And because... Damn, look at that persuasion. This is cool. This is cool. I think I think I'm going to be doing nature and perception as well. Uh I believe it's called Pathfinder called this. I believe it's called Pathfinder. The D&D, &D, let me google it for you. I believe it's called Pathfinder. Oh, oh, the actual... Oh, there you go then. There you go. There you go. One day we will play D&D &D with, like, subs and stuff. One day, chat. Trust me. Are we done? No. Okay. You know what? Let me go and see something very quickly. All right. While we get this up, I'm going to go see. Everyone drink some water. Sit up straight. One second, my friends. I'd like to see if there's like a a a D and D helper, if that makes sense, like a for noobs. Do you know what I mean? Because it might be good to just have up on the side, maybe when you guys are lurking, or you know, maybe you're a bit too busy to answer any questions I have. Do you know what I mean? But maybe that's not. Maybe that's maybe that's too far. Um, I have a really itchy eye. I don't know why. Okay.
But yeah, uh, apparently Pathfinder is a D&D, like, uh, based off of something else type thing. Unfortunately, I'm trying to look for other streamers as well to see where they put their camera when they're playing the game. And I don't quite see anybody except me using a camera on this game. So I am going to assume that bottom left is the best spot. I hope so. But right now, it's blocking something for me. Uh, you know what? It's No, it's not. It's not. It's not. We should be all good. You know what? Screw it. We're going to learn D&D without a helper. GG's. We should be good. I've got you guys here. And I've got my uh, initiative as well. Alright. Um, skill focus. You get a plus three bonus on all checks involving athletic. Don't want that. You get a plus three bonus on all checks involving knowledge arcana. Knowledge well. Nor nature. Okay. What is all this? Oh, this is like my skill focus. I think here I want to do persuasion. I think I want to do persuasion, right? That would be my guess. Thank you, Ali. God bless you. Absolute angel. Bye, Ali. Can we get some love in the chat? You absolute legend. <laughs> I saw that as well, Dorch. I saw that as well. <laughs> May they have a great stream. Um... Okay. Alright, I've got you guys back up. How are we all doing? When the game starts, the cat. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll start the game and then we'll see. We'll see Wag One. We'll see what we're doing. Um, persuasion, best choice. Oh, okay. I chose the right one. Nice. Oh, we're talking. Uh, I guess it's similar base rules with slight modifications. So, who here has played D&D? Like, who's been into it, like... Ooh! You get a plus one bonus on attack and damage rolled. Now... Do ranged weapons count as my wizard hands? Or sorcerer hands? Fireball! This music so cozy and beautiful. There seems to be a tray on the, the left for map. Okay. Uh, when game uh point point blank shot is very important. You will miss your spell shots. You get a plus one bonus on attack and damage. So ranged weapons count as my hands. Yeah. I need to stop it to my eye. Don't know what's up with it. Is that what you're saying, your 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 worth? Spells count as ranged weapons, there we go. Choose a school of magic. Any spells you cast of that school are more difficult to resist. Huh? Okay, let's go through all of these first. Don't want that. Don't want that yet. That could be really cool if we have another spellcaster next to us. Don't want that. You are adept at spell spellcasting when threatened or distracted. You get a plus four bonus on concentration checks made to cast a spell. That sounds pretty good. 
You make a number of additional attacks of opportunity per round equal to your dexterity bonus. With this feat, you may also make attacks of opportunity while flat good. That sounds pretty good. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. You get a plus two bonus on all trickery and use magical skill checks. I'm not sure if I want that yet. Don't want that. You gain plus one dodge bonus. That looks pretty good. Dodge could be useful. Your spells of a certain element are more difficult to resist. Don't want that. Jeez, how many are there? Oh god, okay, so these just, we can't even have them. Okay, don't want them. Toughness. Your spells break through... Spell resistance. of your opinions if you if i did don't worry man don't worry okay <laughs> there are so this game is mad this game is mad okay um enemy resisting let me see what that is i don't think i see anything like that okay Precise shot. Let me have a look where that is. Let me see what it is. What is iron will? Okay. Not quite sure what will is. Reflex. Okay. Looks like I'm good with one of these. Not sure what meta magic is. We'll find out later on. Wait. Precise shot? I can't, I can't do precise shot. Did I go past it? Oh! I thought, I thought I selected it. Okay. Do I not want to do a spell focus yet? Also selecting certain stuff. Unlock certain stuff. Wings? Raw, that's sick. Resist should be like, yeah. I was thinking dodge, by the way, Dodge. I was thinking dodge. No worries, Yorv. No worries, mate. Here it is. Uh, here it is. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons at opponent engaged in melee without taking the standard minus four penalty. Okay. Maybe we do do a. Maybe we do do a skill. Skill. Uh, what's it called? A, a focus. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking spell focus as well. Let's do it. Wait. Oh, I can only choose one. Oh. Ah. Oh, God. Now I might be able to do precise shot. No. Okay. Um. What's the difference between... Oh, I think I know, actually. Choose a school of magic. Choose an element of magic. Acid, cold, electricity, or fire? Do we become four? Is the question. You get a plus four bonus on concentration checks made to cast a spell. Okay, spell focus. Add plus one to the difficulty class for the all saving throws against spells. Okay. Here's spell focus. Choose a school of magic. Um, we don't even know. I don't even know what any of this is. 
I just want to be damage. Whatever. Can I find out what they are? Do I press... Ah, here we go. I haven't chosen anything yet. I just want to see what certain things is. Evocation is burning. Okay, evocation seems to be a lot to do with fire. I ain't gonna lie, chat. The spells in this game I remember are so, so unique. Conjuration is off obviously... Oh no, there is attack. Oh, magic Misha. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of doing evocation then. Um, because that seems to be a lot of damage. Yeah, shock as well. Maybe oh, maybe conjuration. No, no. Conjuration seems pretty cool as well. You can, you can do a couple of summons as well, you know. I ain't gonna lie though. I know I don't know if you have to be evil to do this. By the way, this seems really, really cool as well. I kind of might do necromancy as well. Oh, necromancy seems to just like hurt them and give them a horrible like debuff. Evocation. The spell functions as flare. We'll see. This seems really cool as well. Maybe, maybe our build will be like a damage buff. Can we buff our our pet, or is that not a thing? It's either Evo Conjure or Transmutation so far. You can. Let's do Evo. It's it's interesting that it doesn't say anything on the side of. of it doesn't tell you a lot about it. But we'll do Evo. I wish it would give you, like, you know, some info about it on the side. Okay. All creatures within a 15-foot cone. That's not bad, but that means we have to be really, really closer. Is there any way I can sort this? No. One enemy creature within close range. You unleash a powerful scream, inaudible to all but a single target. The target is dazed for one round and takes 1d6 points of sonnet damage. Now, what does it mean by maximum 5d6? Is that 5 dices with 6 sides? Damn. Isn't that just going to be insane when it gets that? A successful save negates the daze effect and halves the damage. So if I get a bad roll, 530 damage. So 5 to 30 damage. Yeah, because 5 times 6 is 30. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, so that seems really cool. All creatures are going to... 10 foot burst centered on target I don't want that I don't want that because uh, I'm going to be harming my teammates a, ma a missile a magic enemy uh, energy darts forth from your fingertip and strikes its target, dealing 1d4 plus 1. Missile strikes an enemy, even if the target is in melee combat. As long as it's less than total cover of total concealment, specific parts of a creature can't be singled out. For every two cast that was beyond first, you gain an additional missile. I think I'm going to do a magic missile. One enemy creature within touch range. Yo, should I not choose two Evo levels, Evo spells, to start? I was thinking sleep. No, no, I don't want to do a touch spell, yeah. Uh, if I was a battle mage, then I would. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Should I not do two Evo moves? That's what I was going to do. I was going to do Magic Missile. It's a free spell, yep. Cantrips are level zero spells that you can use unlimited. Did I get that right? It's a free spell, can you, yeah. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. This is why I read, this is why I've taken so long to make my character. Okay. So these are really important choices. Um, I definitely want, I definitely want Magic Missile. I really like the sound of that. Do I press X, I, okay. Hmm, mage armor. So when we get our pet, hit it with the mage armor. An invisible but tangible field force around the subject of a mage armor, providing a plus four armor bonus. Unlike mundane armor, mage armor entails no armor check penalty. Arcane spell failure chance or speed reduction. Since mage armor is made of force, incorporal creatures can't bypass it the way they do normal. That is pretty, pretty sick. This is pretty sick as well. Your, your gestures and droning incantation fascinate nearby living creatures, causing them to stop and stare blankly at you in a dazed condition. I don't know if I want to be a buffer or a debuffer. See, that would be cool if I could do it to other characters. Enlarge person. Can I, can I, en can I enlarge my, 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 uh, oh, a humanoid. Okay. I was about to ask if I could enlarge my, uh, thingy, then it says enlarge person. I'm assuming it's enlarge creature if it was for my pet or something. This seems better than the armor, man. I've never seen a spell like this in any game. This is insane. The target gains a plus two size bonus. A minus two size bonus to dexterity. Plus one coming on attack rolls. You can choose more at next levels. Melee and ranged weapons used by this creature deal more damage. What, why, why would an enlarged person help now and, and mage armor would? You know what? You know what? I probably don't want to know that answer. I don't want to do cone attacks. I don't want a cone attack. I don't want close range. That's touch range. This is personal. This is around me, I don't want that. Grease you said is good, but it's annoying. This I'm not a bow guy. Hypnotism sleep apparently is better. This one friend you could... This just makes people stronger or something. This is a shield for my guy. This is touch. A sleep spell causes a magical slumber to come upon four. <sighs> we might go sleep. I don't think I want to do... Uh... I want to just be a DPS debuff guy. And I think my bear will be okay without the armor. And like you said, we could always get the armor soon. That sounds pretty cool. This spell transforms your hands into living stone. That would be cool if I was a monk. That's really cool. Stunning barrier. You're closely surrounded by a barely visible magical field. Provides deflection bonus, resistance bonus. If a melee person attacks me, they'll be stunned. 
will negate that. Will is them is their debuff defense. Summon monster. There's no point. We've got a pet. That's touch. This touch creature becomes invisible. That could also be good for our... Uh... Here's, here's a question. Can you use spells to help you do stuff in the real world as well? Not just when you're battling. So can I, like, vanish a character who's good at lockpicking and then they can go and loot stuff? Or does it not work like that? So if I do vanish on a... and no one will find them, it'll help to sneak past people to then loot. Because <laughs> I like loot. I ain't gonna lie. Your boy likes loot. But you can kill, then loot. True, but I'm thinking like big cities, you know? You know what? Let's go with sleep. Look at that. Ten foot burst. And it's centered on a target. Sleeping creatures are helpless. Wounding awakens an affecting, affected creature, but normal noise does not. Sleep does not target unconscious creatures, constructs, or undead creatures. So you can't do it to undead. You can't do it to... Okay. Oh, you're worth. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this to come to console or for me to get a PC to play it on PC for about a year. Uh, I watched Co Carnage play it, and uh, man, this game looks amazing. Um, I am going to be posting it on my YouTube, my friends. So if anyone's busy someday, you can go catch up on my YouTube. Go and subscribe. It's completely free to do, and uh, I would really appreciate it. Let's do sleep. Sleep and missile. Okay. Whoa. Choose alignment? A creature's overall moral and personal attitudes are represented by its alignment. Lawful good, neutral good, chaotic good. Damn! There's three neutrals, three good. Okay, so here's the choice. Good characters protect, protect innocent life. Evil characters debase or destroy it. Now, no spoilers. Is this game... Is this one of those games that says... Yeah, you can be evil. But is this game like you can actually fully do this game evil or not? I don't think, don't worry, I'm not going to be evil, I don't think. But can you actually do this game full on evil? Because then that, that right there could mean another playthrough down the line. You can be evil, man. You know, you know what games I'm talking about where it's like, yeah, it says you can be evil. But, come on. I'm doing evil run at the moment. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> no, we'll see. Um, lawful characters tell the truth. Keep their word. Respect authority. Honor tradition. And judge those who fall short of, short of their duties. Chaotic characters follow their consciences. Resent being told what to do. Favor new ideas over tradition. And keep their promises only if they feel like it. Nah, 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 nah. Your boy Omario is a man of his word. One thing my dad taught me is you always have your word and be a man of it. You do, Mathwiz. You do. I ain't gonna lie, Mathwiz. 
This whole character creation is probably the most insane character creation I've ever seen in any game. Easily. Easily. It's not even close, I don't think. You know when I knew that it was going to be insane? <laughs> when that difficulty choice came up. And it was like, yo. <laughs> these, just, that is the craziest difficulty thing I've ever seen. So I was like, man, if this is the difficulty thing, then I can only imagine the character creation. And, and, let me, let me, let me just say, when I say character creation, I do mean class and stuff. The actual character creation of the person wasn't that good. Uh, you got to be honest. It wasn't that good. There were two beard choices, a couple of face choices. But that's clearly not important in this game. Um, we went with two spells. Here's the, here's the rundown, Mathwis. We're a sorcerer who relies on charisma instead of intelligence. We have a pet, which I chose to be a bear. And our skill focus is evocation which is mainly DPS. So I've gone with Magic Missiles, which is an evocation spell. And my other starting spell is Sleep, which lets me put things to sleep regarding, obviously you've got to do a roll. A target of 10 meters, I think, which is insane. And it's a target as well. It's not around me. I put the target. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. Now we're choosing our alignment, which I've never, never, you, this is the first time this is, you know, this has been in a game to me. Um, I don't want to be boring. But the part that I liked about neutral. Lawful characters tell the truth, keep their word, respect authority, honor tradition and judge those who fall short of their duties. Do we go lawful good or lawful neutral? This is a very important... This is a... Do, do I go lawful evil? Hmm... Do I go lawful evil? <laughs> evil characters debase or destroy it here's the thing this is a very important important uh, decision I'd say lawful neutral I like LE lawful evil <laughs> how do I see myself chaotic evil uh, how do you guys see me Mathwiz you've been here eight, 8 months 6 7 months nearly mate it's hard to say how it's like it's like I don't want to be that guy that's like I'm a I'm a great guy. Do you know what I mean? So it's 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 a hard I've never played a game that has this choice. It's an awkward one. Not awkward, but it's a you know what I mean? Yeah, they are very important in character creation. I completely agree. How do you see yourself? How do you see your character? How do you picture the character? I think I play games as lawful good, but would be chaotic good if I had that power in real life. So I need to imagine in real life. I don't think I'd be chaotic good. Chaotic good means you're willing to do anything it takes for the greater good, which may sound good, but if you think about it, chaotic characters, like it says, they follow their consciences, resent being told what to do, favor new ideas over tradition, the thing I didn't like, and keep their promises only if they feel like it. You, you've got to be a man of your word, right? Because if, 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 do you know what I mean? If no one trusts your word, how are you going to do good? Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Or am I overthinking it? Like, if you tell someone, yo, me and you, listen, there's some bandits up ahead. You go left, I'll go right. But they may not believe you because earlier on in the game, you weren't a man of your word. So they just leave you to it, then the bandits, they get you. <laughs> How you doing, Lukey? The man bun? 
How is it? Yeah, I haven't had the man bun. It's not even a question of how you are person. It's more the character and how you want to play the character. So if you want your character to keep their word, then chaotic is not for you. I think... Nice one, let's go. Um, I, I haven't got a haircut yet, but eventually I'm going to get rid of all of this, all of the back. And uh, yeah. But I'm waiting for this bloody COVID to go, so... I don't want to go into a hairdresser and be like... Excuse me, sir. Do you use gloves when you cut my hair? That's just awkward, you know? You'll have people sat down and be like, what the hell, this guy's extra. No mullet? No, I'd never do a mullet. Um, shout out to everyone who's got a mullet, though. Um, I think I'm going to do lawful good. Or do we go neutral good? What does neutral good actually mean? Alright, I want my guy. He's a half-elf. He's a half-elf, right? I did choose half-elf, yeah? He's a half-elf. Humans don't like him, elves don't like him. He's out there to prove to the world that it doesn't matter what your race is, you can be a decent person either way. Do you know what I mean? To do that, I think neutral good is the way. I don't think lawful good's the way. Lawful characters tell the truth, keep their word, respect authority. That right there is the problem. Now I'm not saying respect authority, but sometimes this is going to get real. But as we know in the world that we're living in currently, sometimes authority is wrong. Sometimes there are some bad eggs in authority. It ain't authority that's wrong, it's the bad eggs that are put into the authority that make it wrong. Neutral good it is. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The kind of guy, he's gonna tell the truth, he's a man of his word, but he'll sit on the fence to see what is good and what is evil to make his decision. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. How you doing, Lukey? How's your day been? I have no use for this. That's me, by the way. Oh, man, that picture's so bad. I should have made him a half-orc. That's not a bad picture, actually. It isn't bad. It isn't bad. We're going to be a fire, bro. All I see is blackness. Their life ends here. Forwards. No, no. Our time has come. That, that, that's my voice, right, guys? Our time has come. So I have no need for this. <laughs> uh, maybe when I hit puberty. Forwards. Forwards. I Let us be off. Oh my God, you know who this sounds like? <laughs> uh, who's that Let James Bond? On. We cannot be defeated. To you're done for. Oh no no no! I won't give up. It sort of does. It sort of sounds like Sean Connery. I won't give up. The path is clear. A solid plan. Everyone counts on me. I am superior. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. This will hurt. I will guide. March, march. All I do is march. A mere flesh wound. Oh. Ah. I'll need to review this spell later. Someone else would make better use of this. Am I pragmatic? What the hell does pragmatic mean? Is that like when you're in a relationship for nine months? You know what I mean. My wounds pile on. My skills exceed yours. This is my path. Defeat is not an option. Burn! Slice! This will hurt! <sighs> Get it off me! None of them sound like me. We do it my way. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. I have no need for this. Forwards! <sighs> Forwards. I feel faint. Spell's not working like- I'll go ahead. This guy, I guess? Pragmatic probably sounds like me the most. I sense something. But time's not waiting. 
If pragmatic or confident. I'm always ready. Why does the madman sound like me the most, chat? Forwards! No, no. So many thoughts. So little time. <laughs> he actually does. Oh no. Let us burn. Slice! Behead! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like listening into a mirror. Wait, what? Together. I didn't even break a sweat. Do we go madman? I mean, he does like. No, uh, no, we'll go confident. I have no use for this. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. All right. I'll take care of it. We'll go confident. Choose name. Omar. Thirteenth of August. What's my birthday called? Arodus. Yes, I will erode all my enemies who come forth to me. For I am an Omar. Okay, I feel like I should be Omar the Third or something. We'll just go with Mario. Their life ends here. Oh, this is like. Okay, here it is. Oh, look how it's done with my O. That's cool. That's cool. That's a cool O. Here it is, chat. We are a half elf. Male. Neutral good. Result. Wait. A sylvan sorcerer. Has a lot of dexterity and a lot of charisma for the ladies. Hey. Um, we are not athletic. No. Very persuasive. Hit that follow button now. <laughs> we have a lot of knowledge. I do. I do. You can't tell me different. Um, and we use magic devices. You know, you, you guys know how good I am with magic devices, you know, like... Like that Twitch thing, and... And, and Discord, and, uh... And, you know... What the hell is this? One enemy creature within weapon range. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, smart. Smart. On a helpless opponent, yes. 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 On a future of medium range, you can use your persuasion skill to cause an opponent to become shaken. The shaken condition doesn't stack. That's good. You could choose to take a minus four. No, I don't want that. This is half elf, sorcerer proficiencies. Sorcerers can cast a number of cantrips or zero level spells. These spells are like any other spell, but they're not expended when cast and may be used again. So these are the spells that we always have. Detect magical auras or active spells. This is really cool. This could be really cool when we're exploring the world. Additional class skill. What does law nature mean? I don't, I don't know. We have a bear. Uh, we're probably going to call him Barry. It's a good name for a bear. Uh, we, we don't know. We'll have to see the bear first. Uh, you get a plus three bonus on all checks involving persuasion. Nice. We have simple weapon feet. You become proficient with all simple weapons. Don't think we're ever going to use any of these. Maybe a quarter staff? Or a spear? Plus one bonus on attack and damage rolls. So in this game, skills are your, uh, you know, your hand sort of thing. Um... We chose evocation. We have keen senses. And we have elven immunities. Which uh, elves are immune to magic sleep effects and gain a plus two racial saving throw bonus against enchantment spells and effects. Ooh. And we've got other spells. We have got acid splash. If I were a small orb, could be cool. Daze. Cool. Jolt. These are all close range though, so we'll have to get him to sleep. This spell causes a touch party member to glow like a torch. That's probably for exploring the world. Ray of Frost. Nice, that's good. And we've got a ton of spells, you know. A 
Okay. This is cool. You direct a ray of positive energy. You must make a ranged touch attack to hit. If the ray hits an undead creature... Okay, so this is like against skeletons and stuff. And these are the ones I chose. Magic Missile and Sleep. I don't know what base attack means. Oh. Each creature has a base attack bonus. As a character gains levels or hit dice, his base attack bonus increases. When a creature's base attack bonus reaches plus 6, plus 11, or plus 16, it receives an additional attack when it makes a full attack. I don't know if that's melee or not. Oh, here we go. There it is. That is why you told me to choose dex. Your attack and bonus of ranged weapon is the following. Now, so, out of curiosity, why is my charisma 20 but not my dex your worth? Is charisma the amount of power the dam the the spell does? Spell pen. Okay. Armor class. I'm. This is all new to me, chat. All of this is new to me. Your armor class represents how hard it is for opponents to land a solid jump. Your AC is equal to the following. Armor bonus, shield bonus, dex. Okay. If you're attacked in some way that you can't react to, any dexterity bonus you have does not apply. In this case, your AC is counted. Oh, so we don't want to get caught flat-footed. Certain attacks completely disregard armor, including any shields and natural armor. The aggressor need only touch your foot for such an attack. In such cases, the attacker makes a touch attack roll. When you are the target of a touch attack, your AC does not include any armor bonus. All other modifiers, such as your size, dex, deflection. Some creatures have the ability to make incorporeal touch attacks. Interesting. Fortitude reflects your ability to stand up to physical punishment. Ours is trash. Your will reflects your resistance to mental influence, so that's debuffs. Generally when you are subject to an unusual or magic attack, you get a saving throw to avoid or reduce the effect. Like an attack roll, a saving throw is a dice 20 roll, plus a bonus based on your class and level. Your wisdom modifies added to your will. Okay. Prove your ability to dodge area attacks. Genuinely are subject to unusual magic attack. Okay. Initiative. When combat begins, all creatures involved in the battle make an initiative check. To determine the order in which creatures act during combat, initiative is a d20 roll, plus my dex modifier, so plus two, and plus any bonus modifiers. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's an armor or stuff. The higher the result, the earlier you can attack. Nice. Speed measures how fast the character can move in combat. It is measured in the amount of feet that character can move in 3 seconds. I can do 30 feet in 3 seconds. Is that good? I don't know. Creature size can fall into one of the 9 possible characters. Okay. Jeez. There's 4 things bigger than me in this game. Large, huge, gargantuan and colossal. Most player races are medium, except gnomes, goblins, and halflings who are small. Hey! You better not tell that to their face. Every character has a combat maneuver bonus that represents their skill in performing combat maneuvers. Combat maneuver is determined using the following formula base attack bonus plus strength. Okay, so mine's trash. Okay. Okay. Some magical creatures have the supernatural ability to instantly heal damage suffered from weapons. 
Sometimes damage reduction represents such instant healing. Sometimes it represents a creature's tough hide. In any case, when a character sees that their attacks are failing, they may switch to a different type of attack. A creature's DR is the amount of damage the creature ignores from normal attacks. Usually a certain type of attack can overcome this reduction. This information is separated from the damage reduction number by a slash. For example, damage reduction 5 slash magic means that a creature takes 5 less points of damage from all weapons, except magical ones. So I need to keep an eye on that. I need to keep an eye on DR, and it'll be like slash magic. Which means magic's weak on it. Oh wait, no. Spells ignore damage reduction. <coughs> DR do not disrupt spells. Spells, spell like ability and energy attacks ignore damage reduction. If a creature enjoys damage reduction from more than one source, two forms of damage reduction do not stats so the creature receives the benefit. Okay. Energy resistant. <laughs> We're done! We're in. It took us three hours. We did it. Claps in the chat. Hit that follow button if you're new. I do want to learn the game though. I do want to learn the game. But okay, you're rough. I'll keep an eye on that. Conserve spells. Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm very, very sorry. We're going to listen to this. We started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. It's a dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward. Heroes of all stripes gathered here. I am going to be pressing start to do my settings. We're not done yet. We're nearly there. Can I press start now? I can. Perfect. <laughs> How was her voice? Was it loud enough or was it too quiet, chat? Let me know. Audio will do in a bit. For now, game, there's some things I want to do. Enable looting during combat. Yeah. Bloodstains. Hell yeah. Increase character's movement speed while out of combat. Nice. That's smart. Auto save enabled. Yes, please. Full tip delay, show equipment comparison. Auto pause. I watched one little video regarding settings and it says pause on combat, yep. I wanna pause when a hidden object is detected. Three save slots, okay. Do it to two. Let's do three. Thank you. Do I want to pause when a hidden object is detected? I think I do. Uh, and I want to pause. When a new enemy appears. No. There was another pause. Pause when an enemy is spotted. I think that's it. And pause when the party is attacked. Wait. It, it, there was there was one that I watched. I watched this. I'm pretty sure it was pause on combat start. And it was pause when an enemy is detected. I'm pretty sure those are the two ones that the guy said to put on. I'm pretty sure that's good, right? I've had to go back six hours of playtime. Really? I'll be careful when I'm selling stuff then. Does that look good? Pause on traps. Oh, is there a pause on traps?
I don't see a pause on traps. No, that would have been good. Good, good idea. Good idea. We should be good. <sighs> enemy appears. No, no, no. I want enemy uh, is spotted when we spot an enemy. Yeah, enemy appears would be annoying. Yeah. Party members appear to be wearing class specific outfit. Uh, no. Dress all companions. Traps are hidden objects. Stormbearer, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I already put that on. Let's go. Nice one, Stormbearer. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I hope you're well. We're now about to start our adventure. Let's go. These are cool. Dress all companions in Tropieshki's. Don't know what that is. Allow the main character to lure all the critters in the current area. Ooh. Oh god, no. Yes. Turn-based combat mode on. Yes. Yes. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Lock the camera. The moving character. Yep. Yeah. Increase party animation speed. We could do this later. Always display companions HP. Wait. I want this on, right? We'll keep it like that for now. Uh, I'm actually going to keep it normal for now. Just for now. But I'll remember that that's a thing. Thank you. Do, do I want this on? Or, or will I be able to see them and, and you know what we'll, we'll be we'll keep it like this for now Yeah, yeah, I want that on I want that on we'll see if it gets annoying. We'll see if it gets annoying Difficulty. We've done this. Graphics. Camera shake effect. Uh, that could get annoying. We'll keep it on for now. Sound. We'll do master volume at 90. Music's beautiful. A voice is probably good. Magic chance? I'm assuming that's sound effects. We'll do that at 90 for now. Um, frequency of character. Sets the frequency of companion remarks in a game. Ah. Uh, we'll do it occasionally. Uh, we'll do it frequently. Pauses between music tracks. When this option is enabled, a pause will be added between music tracks during combat in turn-based mode. Interesting. Controls. Group. Previous target. Next target. Menu. Options. Action bar. Stop. Confirm. Pause. Move camera. Move characters. Open combat log. Show cursor. Zoom in. Zoom out. And just like that, our adventure begins hype in the chat where are they this Cheers. is taking forever they didn't even say what this was for just that the outdoor were looking for heroes who are the outdoor anyway rich folk i like her if you can't be patient no one's keeping you here just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of the Eldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Bro, look at this guy's... <sighs> He's like Dumbo, but not with ears, with eyebrows. That He could fly easily. Um... 
What does open glossary mean? Oh, that's so cool! Aldori saw of the Rosebrun Fane Swordsman Baron Aldori agreed to train a select group of pupils. They ruled Rosalind for generations. So they are considered some of the finest sword fighters. They are also obsessed with personal standing and honour. Bravoy is a is Bravoy the world? After securing the defeat and surrender to two nations. Okay. That's smart, man. Alright, I think I'm going to be putting my camera top right or left. We'll see. We'll see. All right, you purple toad. Just shut your trap. <laughs> and if you can't, I'll help you. Oh, you tell him. Hush. Quiet. They're coming. Oh. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. That's way and this better. Is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my. Is that better? Yeah? Sorry, greetings everyone. I'm Jamandi Aldori. This is Lord Mayor Yosef of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. I really don't want to talk during cutscenes. So I'm sorry if I do. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restoff needs. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory. And while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state as well as the noble title of its founder. Stolen Lands. The Stolen Lands are an almost wholly un... So it's like the, the no man's lands. Bordering the nation of Bravoy. Traditionally, the haunt of bandits and monstrous humans, the Stolen Lands are regarded as stolen by all nations along their border, even though none have ever been able to keep these realms under their control for long. Sounds scary. Unfortunately... One serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands. Okay. And no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any Stay. questions? Will you marry me? Uh, uh, what reward? Um, hmm. There's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive the Baron's title? I will, of course. Hey. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. You're not the leader, your eyebrows are. <laughs> we haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Mate, glass is half full, not half empty. Jeez. Who pooed on your cereal? <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Jamandi clears her throat. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down as everyone directs their attention towards her. Quick question, your worth and chat. Is this game fully voice acted? If not, what's the percentage regarding it? No. Crap. No. Oh, no. Really? Oh man. Am 
I going to have to do a lot of reading? Do I need a bigger water bowl? Because I am going to read the side quest stuff. And I am you can do the voices, you bet you I will. I, I actually am a voice actor in my head. Appreciate you answering the question, guys. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. One second, though. This recently just came out on PS4. Have Are you guys PS4 or PC? Who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe on PS4 it's recently been released. Maybe, you know, maybe they did, you know, maybe there's something new in it, you know? It's got everything. I know it's got all the DLCs and stuff. Maybe it's got full voice acting. Please? <laughs> um, I don't want to ask this question. That's stupid. He's clearly a bandit. So why would we, why would we ask that? Um, what reward can we expect exactly, milady? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? Yo, mama. Um, true. We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Oh, it's music to my ears, me lady. Music to my ears. So we're... Going to the stolen lands, killing the self-proclaimed leader of those lands, and becoming the king of those lands. <laughs> I like where this is going. I like where this is going. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course, there will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. Oh, she likes her food, huh? Nice. They should have made her, like, fat. Well, not fat, but like, uh, you know what, never mind. Um, you're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? Me lady. Don't ask stupid questions. Why oh. should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Well, your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Actually, I swing my hands around. Fireball! <laughs> of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, but please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Okay. Blue Tech, Tyrion 1,000 castle coins. You, my friend, are a generous legend. Thank you so much, my brother. Really, really appreciate you, Blue Tech. Surely now you've unlocked Omario Derp. God bless you, my brother from Belgium. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Blue Tech, for the 1,000 bits and Mathwiz for the $20. You guys are amazing and a huge, huge part of the community. I really, really appreciate you both. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue is it weird that i find her hot <laughs> oh, i just said that out loud oh no uh why not just recognize this stag lord as baron <laughs> that's a good point as i see it this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky weren't they Oh my, who is thy elf in front of me, with such beauty and grace? <sighs> Can we get an Amario waifu in the chat, please? 
Damn. You know who she looks like? You know who she reminds me of? Eowyn in Lord of the Rings, but like an evil version. Because she looks evil as hell. Ah. Am I her Aragorn? We shall find out. We shall find out. Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. She seems like a good, good leader. I like Jumanji. Uh, Jum <laughs> Jumanji. Uh, Jumanji is a good film. The main one. I'm not talking about the one with the rock in. I, I haven't seen them. We're talking OG Jumanji. Don't get it twisted. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. Okay. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. No, thank you, milady. Thank you. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff. And doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Yes, sir! I will! With chat by my side, we can do anything. We will dominate rest of. And all that come across us, for we are chaotic evil. Uh, wait, what did we choose? <laughs> okay. Hi, my name's Lindsay. Aww. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Oh, she's adorable. Can we keep her? Um, I'm Omar. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Don't, don't, you know what? How do you feel about this Tartuccio okay. fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Huh? Wait, what? Your book? Make sure you get my good side. Um, we, we, we. I don't think we'd say. I don't think I'd go with that. I'll just say exactly what I said. Wait a book. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes biographies is. They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Okay. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Smart. I like it. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, God forbid, Tartuccio? No way. She's not horrific. She's terrific. Mm. Um... What about the Barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's Amiri. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands. No! Bare she hands, nice. scares me just a little. Aww. But, I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. 